I'm just like, okay. So let me tell you about this insurance update. So let's go. Today we are going to be doing some tests. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Tiffany. I am married and together we have one son named Tristan and have been trying for our second baby for the last four years. We took a much needed break in 2022. I got sick back to back with COVID, had really weird symptoms, but at the tail end of last year, it really hit me that I am not ready to give up on trying for a second baby. So now we are back on a TTC journey. Hi, welcome. It is not the morning, uh, this is not first morning year and this is, it's about lunchtime. So it might be a little diluted, but I'm not anticipating a high spike right now. It is just that I want to track it to make sure that I don't miss it so that I can make sure to take advantage of it during the right time. So today I'm gonna to be using the Premom uh, ovulation test and the Clear Blue Digital. So these are the two that I'm gonna be using uh, just like last month and I was able to get a pretty good projection from last month. So I'm gonna do the same thing this month and then I have a little bit of information about what's going on with my insurance that we can talk about after the test, but let's get through the test first and then I will give you that update. It's an update. <laughs> I think I have two different clear blues. I definitely have two different clear blue tests. I didn't even know I had this many ovulation tests in here. Oh. What? Okay, so I guess I had these left over from, gosh, so long ago. What? Apparently these expired in April of 2023, which would explain why the tester is completely dead. I don't know if you can see it. This is the one I thought that I pulled, which is this tester and is not dead. Let's try this again. All right, now we're working. Okay, let me show you. So this one is flashing. This one has pretty much come up already. Uh, you can't even see a line like at all. Like there's like not even a second line. So I'm gonna assume that that means like really, really low uh, fertility, but that's okay because this one is gonna let me know. I'm anticipating a big O, which is like low fertility or no fertility, but we'll see. Okay, while I'm waiting for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture for my pre-mom app of this one, just so we can log it. Oh, there it is. I got the zero. There you go, do you see it? So that's good. Okay, so it says it is a 2.5, which is very low. I was anticipating that. Like I said, I'm just trying to track it. And the clear blue confirmed and gave us a big O, big zero, whatever you wanna say. Zero, O, goose egg which means low fertility. So that's good. Exactly what I was anticipating. So let me tell you about this insurance update. So I think I told you how um, my company changed how they're doing fertility and infertility treatments this year. So last year, my benefits just ran through like a normal doctor's appointment would, and it was just a, a lump sum amount, a lifetime award, if you will, for fertility and infertility treatments, okay? That's how it was in the prior years. Now for 2024, they have completely changed everything. So instead of going to whatever doctor I choose and using my benefits like a regular doctor's appointment, I have to go through a third party network to not only get fertility treatments covered under 
under insurance, but also to select the provider that I'm gonna be seeing for my fertility treatments. So that essentially means that I have to start all over again. I am gonna try to put a request in to stick with the doctor that I've already been with because I, I really like my doctor and we kind of already have like a plan going forward and everything that we want to do. So I'm going to see if there's a way to like request a doctor outside of the established network because they have like this network that they're saying that you have to choose to see one of their doctors in order for anything to be covered, which is so unfortunate because my doctor one isn't listed and two I pretty much like I said I'm having to start like all the way over from the beginning which is not ideal especially considering how long it's been and how far we've come and we literally just got back on track with my my doctor that I've been seeing and had finalized a plan to move forward with so now um we're kind of at a hold because insurance is being insurance and making things complicated so i'm trying to figure out how we can move forward with my doctor my plan the iuis that we already had just everything that i had already envisioned for 2024 i am trying to make happen but uh my insurance is making it a little difficult. So they did go ahead and put a request for me to see one of their doctors in the network, but I don't know how long it's gonna be before I can even see them. And also it is literally starting all over again. Like I would have to bring my medical records. I would have to go through everything. And it's just a huge step back because we have literally just started and had a very concise plan of what we wanted to do, how we were gonna do it, when we were gonna do it, and now that plan is just kind of like completely gone. So I will hopefully have a better update next time I hear from them to see if we can work outside of the network, but that's kind of where we're at right now. Super, super unfortunate. Not at all what I was anticipating or expecting, but it is what it is. I have to adhere to my insurance's guidelines, as unfortunate as it is. But yeah, I'll make sure to keep you up to date with what happens and hopefully we can move forward with my doctor. But if not, in the meantime, uh, I will just be timing and using Mosey Baby for now. See where we go. Hopefully we can get back on track with IUIs with my doctor and not have to start all over again from the beginning because that would just really suck but I will continue to test I think I'm gonna test again tonight and then maybe tomorrow just with the pre-moms not using the clear blue just so I can get a good track of them just so I can understand my ovulation and make sure that when the IUIs do come because I just haven't been tracking anything so to get a better understanding when the IUIs are available for me I can make sure to take advantage of the right time that's kind of the plan moving forward trying to control things that I can control <laughs> I'll be praying about it a lot and I think this is a good time to remind myself to surrender and not try to control everything. So I'm gonna be praying about it and just kind of seeing what happens. So I will keep you up to date. I wanted to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp. As you know, the trying to conceive journey has not been kind to me and one way I am staying positive and keeping myself on this journey is by talking to my therapist regularly. BetterHelp makes starting therapy easier and a lot less intimidating for a lot of people. BetterHelp lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even just messaging. Whatever is most comfortable version of therapy for you. There are over 30,000 therapists in their network, which BetterHelp can match you with based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than may be available in your area. To get started, just fill out a questionnaire that will ask you questions about what challenges you're facing and what kind of therapist you'd like. Then BetterHelp can match you with a therapist. In most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours. You can schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. And if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you just switch your therapist with a click of a button at no additional cost. This for me was a favorite feature because because it did take a few therapists to find the right one that was suited for me. So be sure to click the link in my description below for 10% off your first month of BetterHelp and join the over 4 million people who have joined BetterHelp and started living a happier and healthier life. Thank you again BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Okay, it is seven o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and take another ovulation test. Uh, just the pre-mom one though, just to see if it changed where I'm at earlier around, it was like 
12 when I took my first one. I think I was at 2.5. Yeah, I was at 2.5 and that was at 12.30. So per my pre-mom app, uh, my fertile window will be in four days. So I'm really not looking to like hit a peak or anything like that. I am just looking to track my ovulation so that we can get the best time so we can try to take advantage of it. Just with everything happening with my insurance, I want to make sure that I'm using my resources too, which is like tracking my ovulation and then using like Mosey Baby or like just making sure that we're, you know, organizing or coordinating with the calendar and what my body is saying. Hopefully all my insurance stuff can be worked out sooner rather than later so their network is apparently like a bunch of doctors that have like have met a certain percentage of successful IVF IUI fertility treatments um, in general for their practice so I guess that's why they want me to go with one of their doctors but I don't know how long it's going to take to get in with one of their doctors which is why I was like hey like I already have an established treatment plan with my own doctor like is it possible I can just stay with him um, so they said I just need to fill out this form and then they will review it within three business days So I'm just waiting to hear back from what they say, but I don't know I'm not opposed to seeing a different doctor like I'm definitely not opposed to seeing somebody else Especially if they're vetted and they say that you know, they have a they have met a certain percentage of um, a success rate Which is why it's one of their preferred doctors. I have no problem like going and seeing them It's just the matter of like, I don't know how long it's going to take so with my doctor. He was like, yeah, when you start your period, like call me up, let me know, we'll get this ball rolling. And insurance is basically like, nope, like you can't do that. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and take a picture of it. It looks like even less than what it looked like earlier, like midday. Can you see it? Like there is like <sighs> barely, 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 barely a line. But we'll go ahead and take a picture of it just to track it, have it logged time, date, all that stuff. Yeah, so it's saying it's a 2.5 again. Same thing it was saying um, from earlier. So 2.5, whoop. Uh, which I was anticipating. I'm not expecting it to be high whatsoever. I'm not expecting to hit my peak. I'm not expecting for it to be like, whoa, crazy in the next couple of days. I am just entering my like ovulation window and I wanna make sure I track it. Good morning. This morning we are using first morning urine. So let's take some ovulation tests. I'm gonna do both the clear blue and the pre-mom today. Let's try. Both tests are running. Morning urine seems to be the way to go because I'm already seeing a line on this one, whereas the other ones I definitely didn't see a line because it was probably just diluted, but they're running, we'll see. Oh my gosh, we got a flashing smiley face. I was not anticipating a flashing smiley face, but we got a flashing smiley face, which means, hi, LH. Okay, interesting. I was not anticipating a flashing smiley face today. I'm gonna get my phone to take a picture of the pre-mom one, but we got a flashing smiley face, which is amazing because I'm trying to track it and that means that we're about to enter the high, the peak LH surge. So right on time. Okay, let me get my phone. I can see that line popping up much quicker than it did yesterday. And now I know why, because I have high LH right now. I'm curious to see what the pre-mom one says though, because the pre-mom seems to be a bit more tricky to get a good result, but it does say five, which they're still saying is low, but higher than the other ones. So yesterday it was a 2.5 both times that I took it. I took it midday though, so I didn't take it in the morning. So now I'll know exactly when I need to use the Mosey baby. This is awesome. I'm so glad that I started testing. I was not anticipating a flashing as well today, like at all. Like I thought it was gonna be a zero again, but nope. Flashing smiley. It has been the entire day. I am just getting off of work. I took those tests this morning though, so you saw I got a flashing smiley face again, which is really good. I forgot to take a picture though because I literally just hopped right onto work and have just been working all day because it is our busy season right now and I am just like 
in the thick of it, but I wanted to let you know I did get a little bit of an update as far as coverage goes for the next couple of months. So turns out, remember the third party that I was telling you about, the third party service? So the request was accepted because I let them know that I'm like right in the middle of treatment because we were just about to start the IUIs. But they said after this round of IUI and after this, this round of treatment is complete, if I don't successfully conceive and I continue moving forward, I will not be able to see the same specialist. I'll have to work with one within their network. So instead of like, like trying to do something with this doctor and then go to a different doctor and try everything all over again. I'm like, okay, let me just start from the beginning. I won't even go through an IUI with the specialist. I'll just start with the ones that's in their network. I have an appointment, but it's not until February 19th or something like that. So it's not till a little while. So I'm just like, okay, it's fine. Just take a step back take a moment it'll be okay like everything works out for good and maybe there is a reason and a purpose there there is i know there is there is a reason for everything that's kind of where we're at right now i am just kind of like on hold with everything like i said i do have my appointment in february but as far as as far as active iuis um that will not be happening until i see the new doctor we get a plan together we see what his his thought process is if he wants to do any diagnostic testing just the whole thing all over again kind of so yeah that's where we're at now i do plan on still timing my ovulation still potentially taking pregnancy tests if i feel those kind of symptoms and obviously using mosey and our timed theory method that we're going to continue to do so that is kind of like the plan going forward for me you know still kind of be like okay well i have to wait on it but i'm still going to try my own at home methods so that is going to be what we do we will see what happens in february I'm just like, okay, okay. <laughs> I said last time, like I'm trying not to be like control, control, control. And this is like definitely a test because I was like so ready, like, okay, we've got the doctor, what he recommends, what we're gonna do, our next steps. Like everything was just like boom, 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 falling into place and everything is like, stop, <laughs> wait. So I am waiting. I am going to be still, I am going to be patient and just not try to control everything. Good morning. So yesterday I forgot to show you my tests, but I got a flashing smiley face again. So this was from yesterday. I just unplugged it so it puts the, puts the result back up on the window whenever you unplug the tester. But this was from yesterday. Um, this was the day before. Oh. This was the day before in the morning, the day before in the afternoon, and then this was yesterday morning. And I'm about to take a test again to see if I can get a solid smiley because we've been getting flashing, flashing smileys the last couple of days. So let's see. All right, so we got another flashing smiley face. So it is not peak, but still high fertility and the pre -mom is still kind of coming through but it looks looks like that it does have that line but the line is not as solid as i would like it to be this was the line two days ago in the morning can you see it it's like it's like a line line this morning is not not there yet but i think it just hasn't set long enough i'm whispering That's just why I 
loved them.